So in the morning I began to pray. I heard the Vasan Kha saying, go to Seva Kasi. I had never gone in my life. I never knew where it was even. I am very poor in geography. I don't know where it was Seva Kasi even. I told our partners, Lord is saying, again, again, go to Seva Kasi. He said, did you know Seva Kasi? I said, no. It is the most difficult place in South India. I won't allow Christian to preach. So I requested for Deva Sam, somebody else, to go there and find out any place for an even. In no day, but there's my subject star in Matra. Yeah. I thought he being a subject star may have some influence to find a house for our stay. So he came out one day, said we have gone to many places and they refused to give us even one room for any rent. Then again, when he prayed, Lord said you better go. Then the morning I'm reading St. Mark's Gospel, and chapter 14, from verse 13. Then for two of his disciples, said to them, Go to the city, and there shall you meet the first man bearing a pitcher of water, follow him. And wherever he shall go in, say, Master, good man of the house, the master said, Where is the chamber? Where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples. And he will show you a large upper room furnished. Ma- and prepared. So the good news says, Lord has a room ready for us. We decided to keep sitting behind. We decided only men can go and they can fit in the opposite also. As I got down from the bus at Sevakasi, I saw one board outside the housing corporation. So I thought generally if they build new houses, they might have some new house lying vacant which they give us for, for a day. So I walked in the office and saw one man with a very long hair. And I said, can you tell us any new house or house available for one or two days? And he said, Aji Mr. Bhagat Singh. I said, yes. He said, I have a Christian friend in Satur. He wrote to me some days ago. Bhagat Singh and the party comes, kindly find a house for him. I never told anybody that there is fever one day. He had absolutely no idea to go there. But that man on his own, he wrote to the other man, Brahman man. So he said, can you come along, I'll show the house to you. So he brought the key and came outside. I said, Lord, you said there will be a man carrying a picture, where is he? He came outside, there was a man also going to the front and carrying a picture. So we followed him. There the man stopped, that the house stopped. I said, Lord, you said upper room furnished. There is a nice upper room live furnished house. So there we knelt down and prayed and stand for the sisters also. So after a while we began the preaching, open air. At the very first hour the trouble began. A huge crowd gathered. They began to shout at us and curse us. They began to throw sand and mud and whatever they could find. But we had to just go right around the whole city, singing this Psalm 150. But it became very, very rough for a full two hours. They went on throwing water and mud and cow dung and dust and cement. So when we came back to our place, I got a message. Another house also, upper room, beautiful house. He railway station, vacant, owned by a Christian. So he said, please come and stay with us, sir. I'll give you my house for your stay. So we shifted to that house. And after a while, I got a message. A Hindu lady has come to see you. So I came downstairs. She said to me, I have come to apologize on behalf of our men who have been so rude to you. She said, even though our men don't want the gospel, we want the gospel. She said, there are many, many hungry secret believers in the city. She said, you give permission, I'll go among them. And she brought 150 Hindu women for the meeting. And it was a unique experience. You can never forget that. Without much prayer, we are really gone that direction. And let there be any opposition. And we found how law began to work in our behalf in every place. Now, till that time, we had no thought whatsoever to stop in Madura for the meeting. Now, one believer sister was in the party. Her brother was an advocate in Madura. But in the beginning, he had absolutely no sympathy with us. When we passed through Madra, he refused to come to see us. So at uh, Sivakasi, we decided to divide the party. Half the party stayed behind, a few of us went to Satu, 10 miles away. And Satu last spoke to me, you must go to Madra. Even no, no. though we have no place to stay, where to go, never knew. And where in the party is 65 people, 65 people. At the same time, the same Christian pleader had to come to, come to Sivakasi for a court case. He and other Muhammadan Vakil, they both came to Sevakasi. And they also wanted to stay in the same house, thinking it will be vacant. They never knew that we are staying there. As they both came in the front porch, our party was having a prayer meeting. Among them, there were two Muhammadan converts. They began to pray Urdu. And the Muhammadan Vakil, as he came in the porch, and heard somebody praying in Urdu. And he began to tremble. God is here, God is here. And that Christian man left a message, you must come to Madara. I was with a party in Satu at that time. So I sent a message to them, now you please all go to Madara. We will join you by Vedragar. Now it is a wonderful time there in Madara. Now we visited 33 places in their campaign. The Lord gave us a heavenly plan for every kind of ministry, whether gospel raid or open air, any kind of ministry. 
My point was that when we come as a church together, we have to find God's perfect plan for every service, every ministry, every detail.